So in this video, what we're gonna be doing is creating a button system to turn things or to turn our lights on and off. You can take this information, all these setups to do other tasks like opening doors, for instance, off the top of my head. So let's get into it. So at the moment, what we have is we can go up to our um, light, press E, and there we go, it turns it on and off. Now there is um, a few videos that you need to watch to get to this point. I think there's two videos. So they're linked in the description. However, we're gonna go ahead and now create that button. So first things first, we're going to go into our interactions. So we've got our master interaction and we've got our blueprint light. I'm gonna right click and we're gonna create a child blueprint class of our master interaction. And with this one here, I'm gonna call it BPC for blueprint class child underscore uh, button just for now, kind of nice and simple. Let's now go into that blueprint. From here, I'm just going to add in a cube, just so we got something, a point of reference in there. And this will be our button. Cube button. <laughs> Let's go over into the event graph, select everything, and we're gonna go into delete. So what we need to do is we need to now connect this button to our light, okay? So from here, what I'm gonna do is, let's come into our variables. I'm gonna create a new variable, and this is, we'll just call it button pointed, no, or pointer. So what we need to do is we need to target what object we're gonna be hitting. Okay, so first off, we'll start off with just a single object, and we'll just go into an actor. Actor, down here, actor type, and we're just gonna use the blue one, and we're gonna compile, make sure we save that. Now the next thing here, you can see that there's a bit of a closed eye. We need that open so it's visible, so we can actually pick what this object is. Now that'll come a little bit more apparent uh, a little bit later, and we'll show that in the settings in a sec. But for now, what we need to do is we need to kind of press the interaction button. So let's go event interaction with object. So this is kind of that point where we're, when we come into range and we press E, it'll know to launch whatever our next bit of blueprints are. So what we need to do is cast, oops, cast to master interaction. Oh my goodness, I can't spell. Master interaction. And then from there, we need to launch some code. Let's go into our light and we can see that we've got event interaction with object. Now, for those of you who are a little bit clever, you'll see the flaw in this, but we will continue on and we'll come back and fix this. Uh, what do we call it? Interaction with object, which is exactly the same as the button, okay? Uh, what we're gonna do is interaction with object, so we're calling it, and our target as master um, interaction there. So from here, we're going to put in our button pointer and plug that in here. And let's now go compile. Let's come down back into our uh, main scene. Let's get our button and we'll plop that in there like so. So down here where it says button pointer. So this is that variable that we put in. So now I can use the eyedropper. Oops. Eyedropper. And we can select our light. So from here, when I press play, I can come in, our light is on, I can press E, and it turns it off. On, off, on, off, on, off, beautiful. However, the flaw is that I can come here and go on, off, on, off, on, off. Let's fix that. Uh, so on our lights, let's go into our blueprint here, and we're gonna create an extra um, variable, and this variable is called external switch so is this does this light con, is this light controlled by an external switch so we set it as a boolean it has an eyeball okay and so we'll change this back in the settings from here i'm just going to add in a branch branch and then we have this true or false okay so is there an external switch yes there is so the false is not what we need. We need the, fo sorry, the true is not what we need, we need false. So is there an external switch? Yes, cool, don't do anything. Is there an external switch? 
No. Well, then continue on. So we need a way to bypass this external switch now. And so we need to add in another event. Now we can't add in another event here because then that's specifically for this light and the way our interaction system, it won't work. So what we can do is we can go into our master interaction and we can create a new custom event in here. So let's go custom event and we will call this, um, uh, we'll call this interaction X Eternal switch. Whatever, I don't care. Make sure your spelling's right, but oh well. I'm going to compile that. So now let's go to our light. And what are we going to do? It is called uh, interaction with external switch. Whoops, wrong one. Interaction with external switch. So we want to add an event. And then we're going to plug this one into there. So it's going to bypass um, those checkings now. So if I were to go compile and we can quickly test this out, if I were to come into the light, nothing happens, which is good. However, if I come over here, nothing happens. So that's because we still got to work on the button. So let's come into the button. And what we have is this interaction, interaction with object. We need to get rid of that one. The interaction with object. Let's go interaction. And this time it's gonna be a calling of function, external switch. We'll plug those two in, like so, like so. Compile. And now when we go play, I should be able to come over here and turn the light on and off. I'm so glad that worked. Come over here, that doesn't work anymore. Brilliant, okay? However, we've kind of limited ourselves to a button goes to one switch. Well, what if I want many lights? Let me quickly set that up. So you can see now that we've got five lights. If I come over to the box, only one should work. Okay. So we've limited ourselves to just the one light here. However, I want to hit all five lights. So let's now go back into our button. And we're going to change this button pointer parameter, sorry, variable. We're going to change it from a, from an single to an array. Now, obviously we're going to get an error, so that's fine. Change variable type, bam. I'm going to disconnect this. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is actually add a for each loop. So let's go for each loop. We're going to throw the array into the array. Array element goes into the object. Now let's go compile. We've still got it so it's visible. Let's minimize this. And down here, the button pointer is now an array. So I can go one, two, three, four, five. And then we can use our eyedropper to select all five of our lights, like so. And we'll go play. Come over to here. Please work. There we go. Disco time. So anyway, if this was helpful in any way, please hit the subscribe button. Let me know if you want me to keep doing Unreal Engine 5 tutorials. Um, and we'll go from there.